In this video we move from Bushes Beach in the Kaiara Inlet to Smokehouse Bay for a walk to the Summit Lookout. This video is part of the sailing series. If you enjoy the video, please don't forget to press the subscribe, ring the bell, press the like button and leave comments and ask questions as required. It is the 18th of January 2023, we pulled anchor and motored to Smokehouse Bay to walk to the summit. The day has started overcast and very still with fog lingering all around. Smokehouse Bay is accessible only by boat. It is a perfect stopover for boaties with clothes washing facilities, baths, a smokehouse, barbecue seating right on the shoreline, fresh water and a pizza oven. Fresh water comes from the natural stream higher up and is held in a wooden reservoir in the bush. This water is used to fill a wet back attached to a pot belly stove and feeds a hot water cylinder in the shed. Driftwood and dead wood are used as fuel to heat the stove and within a few hours you can run a hot bath. This amazing facility was initially set up around 1960 by a man named Eric Webster, an Auckland electrical contractor, and it gradually improved over time. The bathhouse and associated barbecues, fish and meat smokers, pizza oven, wash tubs, ringers and a rotary clothesline are maintained with input from yacht clubs, the public and boaties in general. In the links attached at the end of this video is one in particular which takes you to an article on Eric Webster the man who set up and gifted Smokehouse Bay to the boating community. This video, however, is concentrated on our very wet walk to the summit from Smokehouse right, Bay. Goes to the bay over the hill, just up here. Our small adventure started out fairly overcast but dry. We had found tracks leading to the Summit Lookout on an app called All Trails and we could see most of the route on Google Earth. The Summit Lookout is at an elevation of 280 metres approximately. Unfortunately much of the view is obstructed by low lying clouds so the true beauty of this place is not able to be seen today. As you can see from the droplets appearing on the camera lens, it is just starting to lightly rain.
freuten sich. Every time I come up to a cobweb after you've been through it, there's a little bit missing at the bottom and I still walk into it. Oh, I wish you put your hand up like this. <laughs> I've had two of them right across my face. It's really annoying. It's like, it sticks to you and you can't get it off. Never mind. It's only a cobweb. It's a little bit hot. You need to go first. Did you edit that out? Ah, oh, out. <laughs> that would have been perfect. It's a meal, man. Stick with me. I need a big one. Cobwebs were an annoying hazard encountered on this walk. I do not think this trail is used overly often by hikers. Pigs have been running up here. Pig tracks, sliding pig tracks. Yeah. That's what these are. Almost the whole time we had walked towards the lookout, we could hear at least two pigs grunting. They seemed to be following us up the hill.
sustainable in there. Well, that's good though because there's a um, problem in the world with bees. There's not enough of them anymore. So plants aren't growing at the same rate because they're not being pollinated. We found at least 35 to 45 beehives in the scrub on the way up to the lookout in total. Someone selling local honey is my guess. More beehives. Ten in there. In there. That one won't take you to. It takes you to the headland. Yes, it is. So there's all these little tricks. So there's another one just up here. As we arrived at the lookout, it began to spit with light rain once more. That makes it lunchtime, doesn't it? Even with the low cloud fog and the light rain, there was something tranquil about the view. Locusts were chirping in the bush and the wind had kept at bay. We were still waiting for a weather window to leave Great Barrier after cyclone hail. Today may have been okay, but predicted sea states in the direction of Kaua Island were still in the uncomfortable region. Bad weather is predicted for the latter part of the week, so currently the plan to leave Barrier is on the 20th. Once we leave on the 20th, we need to plan to be in Maharangi Harbour for the 21st after spending the night at Kauau Island. We will drop off all the camping gear to the kids then. We will stay at Kauau Island until Monday the 23rd and go to Whangarei from there, but the timing is close and assuming the forecast is correct, we will stay tomorrow to observe any changes on predict wind before leaving. systems I've got to watch. Two 
to three days out is always pretty good. But a week out, not really. Even the three day out can be a little bit out, but it won't be miles out. Now the rain is persistent, although still light. I am using my phone for directions and unfortunately it will no longer zoom easily. either way. This is a bit wider. Is he telling us to bugger off? I am referring to the pig the audio is not picking up, now squealing at us loudly. It's telling me to check my route to make sure I'm on my planned route. I'm just not on its planned route. I'm on my planned route, but not the one that it planned. Basically go back the same way. And now my phone has joined the brigade of unhappy events by telling me I'm not following its plan. Unless 
As normal, I have made a plan, but not informed either the pig or my phone. But it tells me. It makes a little doom, doom, doom noise and then pops up on the screen that I'm an airfoot. Now the pig is grunting and squealing so loudly that I decide to arm myself with a big stick just in case. Thoughts of, take my wife, echo through my head as I stop and wait for my sacrifice to catch up. There's one this side, and there's one this side. where we are. Yes. That's why I came this way. It's quite obvious that it joined. And we're 80% of the way there. It's not, it's not, um, that's a wider track. down where the water tank is I would say. Close to it.
Those menacing and obviously larger than normal super pigs seem to have gone, frightened off by my large stick obviously. So I dispensed with the large stick and started collecting smaller ones for the smokehouse water heater. Either climb down through here, or we just go over So we have to turn around and walk back. There are additional links to a 3D photographic map of Port Fitzroy, an Auckland Council PDF file on the people and industry on the island in general, a link to the general islands available to boaties in the Hauraki Gulf, a link to New Zealand Tourism Guide of the island, and also another sailor's trip to Smokehouse Bay in better weather and to show off the facilities available there more.
And this is where the second camera died, literally 20 feet from Smokehouse, where Shirley and I lit that fire and had a romantic bath beneath the stars.